Once again, here we are, learning about math and numbers. Man, I bet you didn't know that I had, my voice was like an angel poot. It was just, just so beautiful. It was like a smelly fart of an angel. So great! I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. So we're learning greatest common factor. That is what it sounds like. Greatest, which means the biggest. Common, which means they share it. Factor, that means it goes into both of them. Okay, so let's look and see what we got. So we got greatest common factor. Let's do 24 and the greatest common factor of 24. I should have thought of this before. And 32. Okay, so what you do, I'm going to tell you the easiest way to do it. Okay, this is the, the quickest and easiest way to, to work this. Take the smaller number and get every factor of it. So 24 times 1. Factor means it's something times something else equals that number. You don't use decimals. You don't use anything like that. It has to be a whole number. So 24 times 1 equals 24. We always know the times 1 is in there. Um, a good way to stair step it so you don't miss anything, start with 1 and go up from there. So we did 1. Check. Do 2. All right. So 2 times something. We know that's going to work. So 2 times 12. Get done. 3. Does 3 times anything equal 24? Heck yeah. 3 times 8. Okay. What about 4? Be 4 times um, 6. Mark it out. 5. Does it work? Nope. We know that doesn't go into it. 6. We already did it. Boop. It's already in there right there. Um, 7. Doesn't go into it. 8. We already did that one as well. 9. Does it, not go, it doesn't go into 24. It goes into 27. 10. Doesn't work. 11 doesn't work, and 12, we already got it. Now, once you get to the halfway point going up, there's no point going any further because you've already gotten halfway. Anything over that is going to be redundant. You've already gotten it once. So these are the eight factors that go into 24. We want to find the largest one of those that also goes into 32. Now, sometimes what people do is they'll have you go down and make all these and do all the same thing you just did and work your way down. You don't have to. Once you get one of them, you can find the other one, okay? We're pretty much what we do is we just start at the largest one, 24. Does that go into 32 evenly? No, it doesn't, okay? Because you can't ever you can't multiply 24 times a, a whole number and get 32. It just won't work. It just ain't gonna play. No, I was like, so mark it out. That was my best fresh prints I got. Okay, next largest number is 12. Does 12 go into 32? No, it goes in. It's 12, 24, 36, so it skips it. Okay, next biggest number, 8. 8 going to 32? All day, every day in Compton. So 8 is the greatest common factor of these two. Alright? That means 8 is the biggest whole number that goes into both 24 and 32. Therefore, calling it the greatest of all common factors in the land of Narnia. What? I don't, I don't know, man. Don't forget, if you want, um, check out our, uh, my website, tarveracademy.com um, it's got a bunch of math lessons math stuff over there so check that out um, also you can check me out on Facebook at facebook.com slash Tyler's okay or you can just search my name Tyler Tarver is okay um, check me out on Twitter I'm at Tyler Tarver and then on YouTube you can subscribe to this channel or my other channel that I like more than this channel because it's not all about math at 13 evil shenanigans or you can just search my name on YouTube it's probably one of the first ones that's not math <laughs> what okay have a great day